We wanted to welcome you today to our first introduction of the PAL Wireless Wiegand Controller. We are extremely excited to show this product to you. We think it is going to revolutionize the automatic gate and access control world, make your job as an installer much easier, and give you the ability to offer just about any option your customer could want when you install this unit. You can see that we have the PAL Wireless Wiegand Controller installed here on our demo gate system. This will be the first of many videos that we show how this product works. This is a quick introductory of what this product is, how the cloud-based software works, and to give you a quick snippet so you can feel comfortable and confident when you're going to jobs knowing the exact application this, that this can apply to. So one of the great things about the PAL Wireless Wiegand controller is that it is cellular-based. There is a SIM card inside this controller that makes it so you do not have to run any communication wire. That's why we're calling it the wireless Wiegand controller. You can go out to a job, wire this device up, power it in, and walk away. You don't have to run any network wire, no network cable, no communication wire of any kind. You power it up, it automatically connects to our cloud, and then all of the management is done through our cloud-based software, which we'll show you here in just a minute. If we take a look at this system, you have a very simple wiring. The wiring is 12 or 24 volt DC power, your relay control wires, normally open, normally close, common, your Wiegand inputs, data one, data zero, and the Wiegand ground, and an input. So what this gives you the ability to do, we call this a single door controller with the PAL wireless Wiegand. This gives you the ability to wire in any Wiegand device. We do not care who the manufacturer is of the Wiegand device. You can wire it into the Wiegand input, and then our cloud-based software will monitor the device, see when the device is used, time restrict when that device is allowed to be used, and grant access. So you can use Wiegand keypad, Wiegand card reader, Wiegand keypad card reader combo, RFID long range readers, uh, Wiegand receivers for transmitter receiver combos. We don't care. If it's a Wiegand device, you can wire it into this unit and it will work with our cloud-based software. This PAL system is extremely simple to use and gives you a ton of features and it's going to save you time and money on these installations you're doing. If you imagine a typical installation, let's say at a front gate of a community, usual installation or whatever your competitor is bidding is going to be some sort of access control where they're going to run a communication wire to get back to the network or they're going to have expensive cloud monthly fees. Our system is going to give you both those worlds without that wire. So you're able to put this unit on. You don't have to run it back to any network communication. All you do is power it up, and the SIM card inside is going to connect you to our cloud. And I can tell you that the, the fee that we charge for the SIM card is the lowest you will find. Don't base our pricing off other cellular uh, services that you've, that you've used, other competitors' products. Call in, ask your rep, and hear about the fee that we charge. It is next to nothing, and this opens up your world to be able to offer your customer basically all of the functionality they could need for an access control system for a very inexpensive price. The PAL Wireless Wiegand is an inexpensive device, and the fee that's charged for the cloud is very inexpensive. Now, what this gives you the ability to do, we go back to our example with the front gate. Let's say you use the PAL Wireless Wiegand at the front gate. You wire in a Wiegand receiver, and they're going to be using transmitters. Now through the cloud-based software, you, they can put those devices in, attach them to a user, track and monitor when that user is using that transmitter, restrict access to certain times and certain days, set a seven-day timer when they want the gate to automatically open and automatically close, track and alert the management team if the gate has been left open for a certain amount of time. They can also use virtual app-based credentials. We have an app called PALGate, P-A-L Gate, that allows the system administrator to manage who gets to use the app. One of the very cool things about the app is you can restrict when the app is able to be used. So I'm a tenant. I'm only allowed to come in the gym between 10 and 10. My app will only work between 10 and 10. And let's say I'm also using cards or fobs at that door. That will only work between 10 and 10. So our tagline is virtual credentials when you want them, physical credentials when you don't, meaning that this PAL system allows you to use any Wiegand credentials and virtual credentials as well, and it's all managed through our easy-to-use cloud-based software. Let's go ahead and jump over to the cloud-based software. We can show you how it works and show you how rich it is with features. It's pretty cool. 
Again, one of the cool things that we've done, and we've sent out some emails on this, and we'll continue to let you know about it, is we have set up a demo software account where you can come in and make changes and play around with the software and become familiar with it. You can also allow your customers to go in and become familiar with the software. The way that we find that is go to our website, transmittersolutions.com. Our products, scroll down to the PAL Cloud Management System, and then you're going to choose the far right, the PAL 26-bit Wigan controller. And you can see here it says demo the PAL software. You can click here and log in here, which I've already done. It gives you the username and the login password. So this is the login screen. Again, because this is a cloud-based software, there's no software that you have to load. Your customer and you can use any internet-connected device, a phone, a tablet, or any computer. As long as it's connected to the internet, you can access this and make changes to your system from anywhere. So your customer could be sitting on their couch, create a user right there on their couch, and they can start using the system. So I'm going to use the login credentials that we give on our website, sales at transmittersolutions.com, the password, admin with a capital A, one, two, three, and we're going to log in. This is going to bring us to our home screen of PAL. PAL has a lot of features and functionality. Some of them are, are still in progress, but the great thing about cloud management and the cloud software is anytime we release an update, it's going to automatically push to your system in the field. You won't even notice any difference. You'll just see some new features, and it automatically does it without you having to do anything, which is really nice for management. You can see we at first have a quick dashboard that shows you the number of devices here in the top left and the devices online. That means which devices are connected. So we have one device in our management portal, and we have one device online, which is a good thing. That means it's powered up and working correctly. One of the really, really neat things to keep in mind with this, uh, with this system, and this is really, really helpful to anyone who's going to be ha having a lot of managers manage the system. You can go in and you can give access to as many managers as you want for a community. Let's say they have 10 gates and five doors. You can make 50 managers on the system, and you can restrict with a feature that we call places, which you can see here on the left-hand side, third down. You can say, manager A only ha has access to manage and change users and groups on doors one, two, three, and four. Manager B can only see and make changes to gate, front gate, back gate, and manager D can make changes to the gym and the pool, but manager E can manage and change every single door on the property. So it gives you the ability to restrict managers to certain doors that they can manage and adjust. Now what you can also do is you can step that down even further to uh, homeowners or garage owners. If you have certain homeowners that have garages, they can actually, the user, the end user can actually manage their personal garage and share virtual credentials with friends and family, and the manager above them can see all of this and at any time restrict, decline, or clear out that person. So just a ton of functionality when you're going into a community or to a job to bid this. Just know that you can give as many rights or as few rights to everyone from the owner, top manager, down to the actual end user of the garage or whatever it may be, which is a really, really nice feature uh, in this software. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and click on devices. You can see I have one device, which I've called the Wigan test unit. I'm going to click on that device. And it's going to give me a quick map of where I've plotted this. We've plotted this at the Salt Lake City Airport. And you can name it. It shows me no users. But then you can see on the left-hand side, we've made it very simple. That There's only a few buttons you can click. We want it to be easy for this user. Do keep in mind, as the installer, you will have a list of when you log in of every single unit you install. And you can make changes to any of them at any time from any internet-connected device. Your customers will only see the, the devices that they have installed on their property or that you've allowed them to see access to. So it's very customizable in that sense. General info is what we see here. You can jump down to the log where you're able to see what, tran what Wigan device was used, by who, at what time, or if it was their virtual credential on their phone that was used and by who at what time. So they have full access to see everything that's going on in the operation log. The audit log gives them the ability to see who logged in at what time so they can see what changes were made by who. So if someone went in and says, 
hey, some of my users are deleted. They can go to the audit log and see if someone logged in, another manager logged in and made changes. Then we come down here to users. We currently have no users here, but it is very simple to, to add users. You can import users through an Excel file or export users, and you can also add users here. So when you're doing a, a big list of users, importing from an Excel file is usually the easiest way to do it, but you can also do it one by one. So I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to enter myself as a user. First name, last name. Remote control serial number is if you're using the PAL specific remotes. If you're not, you've got your Wigan facility code. If you leave, leave this blank, it will ignore the facility code. You can use as many facility codes as you want and ignore as many facility codes as you want. The Wigan serial number, which is a five digit number. The time group is going to say Quinn is part of the all time group, which gives them 24 seven access if you set it up that way. But this is where you can restrict what doors the user is allowed into at what time. And you can, you'll, I'll show you how to set that up in a minute. If I click admin, admin now gives this user, Quinn Coford, through his app, more features that allow him to add users through the app, delete users through the app, see a log through the app. If I don't click admin, the only thing Quinn would see in his app is what gates he's allowed to open. This is a really nice feature that allows you to customize what the person can see in their app. Now, if you don't want Quinn to be able to use the app to open any of the doors or gates, you simply do not put in a phone number here in this section. All you would do is put in his Wigan information, and that's the access Quinn would have. If I put his phone number in here, now Quinn will be able to download the app. This will sync up with the app, and I would be able to open the doors that I have access to open through the groups that you have created. So adding a user is very simple you can determine if they get to use the app or not. Settings is where you can come in here and set the relay timer. You can also set the input to email certain people when the gate's been open or the door's been open for a certain amount of time, which is set here, which is nice. Organizations is where you can basically set up who can see what. Timer events is a seven day timer for the gator door when the gator door should unlock or open and lock or close. You can have as many of these as you want. Time groups, you can also have as many of these as you want. And this is where you're basically going to restrict access. So I would put 10 in access, spell it right, which would, if I leave the start and end date blank, it goes forever. You can set the times and the days that they're allowed in, and you can add as many of these intervals and time groups as you want to restrict access to the people who are coming and going. Now remember, these restrictions, once applied to the user, work on both their Wigan credential and also their virtual credential on their phone through the app. And this is basically all that, all that you do. You go in, you add your users, you can run a log, and now you're done. The way that this is set up is you have multiple PAL devices on a property is you can set it up to, as soon as you input one device, it will push to all the devices or push to certain devices without having to go to each individual device. That is also done through this PAL portal when you're setting it up. Today we're not gonna go too in detail about that, but basically just give you this quick look and to let you know the huge features of this product are no more wiring your access control panel to a network, we automatically connect, low, very low yearly fees, very low hardware cost, which is going to let you win bids every time you're going up against somebody bidding access control. Easy to use interface, cloud managed, and both Wigan physical credentials and virtual credentials can be used and time restricted. So this is a quick introduction to the PAL. Get one, try it out. It's a really, really nice product that will help uh, your company grow in the, in the automatic gate and access world. Thanks.